safe and sound for now. These horses are among the many animals that will be quarantined in order to prevent the spread of the deadly disease. Two horses have already tested positive in the Western Cape and that's prompted agriculture officials to establish a containment zone on horses in to and within the region. Safeguarding the quarantine zone here in Cape Town is of vital importance if the industry hopes to export animals. It's very important for us to keep the Western Cape um, free of African horse sickness because Kenilworth in Cape Town is the only, only port from where we can export horses to the rest of the world. So that African horse sickness free status is very important for us. Um, once we detect cases in the province, as, as has been the case now, that area is placed under quarantine. Horse movement in and out of the immediate area is, is prohibited. Avantir Estate is one of the largest stud farms in the Western Cape. They focus on breeding only the finest export quality bloodstock. The new cases of African horse sickness has caused some concern to them. The manager though believes that while the disease is endemic to South Africa, it should not come at such a heavy cost given the current market conditions. Obviously it does impact negatively because it makes first of all us, let's be honest, fearful for our horses because they get sick and they die. But obviously on the broader spectrum, um, exporting of our horses internationally, um, it makes everybody very nervous. It's sad, sad, sad that, that the industry is shrinking. The small breeders are disappearing by the month because they can't, we're not selling our horses for what they're worth. The exchange rate like it is now, this is a wonderful place for people to come buy horses, you know, export. It's sad, sad, sad. And it's sad because it's here, it's never going to go away. Horse sickness is here. We've got to work around it. Movement restrictions on donkeys and mules have also been placed. They too are prone to the disease. Horses though are of far greater economic value. They now remain under siege from a potentially deadly virus. So far 22 horses have died from African horse sickness in South Africa this season alone. And authorities here are not taking any chances. The containment ban could cost the industry millions in lost revenue. But a widespread outbreak could be even more costly. Travis Andrews, CCTV, Stellenbosch.